Hey everyone, it's Sashreet and today let's talk about agentic RAG. RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation is a very common technique of providing our agents with domain specific information. We'll give our agents a knowledge base, load that knowledge base with documents, text, websites, PDFs, and then when we ask the agent questions, it can answer using information in that knowledge base. Let's dive into it. The code for agentic RAG is under the FIDATA repo. Uh, Fork and clone the repository and then open up the cookbook rag folder which has recipes for traditional rag and agentic rag which we're going to be working with today the document which we're going to be using is a uh, cookbook of thai recipes it's got images it's got uh, funny fonts it got it's got multiple languages so it's a great document to test with so open up the file data repo in the code editor of your choice under cookbook rag traditional rag pg vector the first thing which we're going to do is we're going to run a Postgres container with PG Vector, which we're going to be using for storage and knowledge. Install the dependencies and then run the traditional RAG PG Vector file. I'm going to kick this off so that it can load the knowledge base while we're talking through the agent. So let's kick it off. It's going to read the URL, start uh, chunking it, embedding it, and loading it into the knowledge base. In the meantime, let's talk about uh, the uh, RAG agent. So over here, we have a agent with a knowledge base. This knowledge base is a PDF URL knowledge base. We could have documents, uh, docx, websites, any type of information can be loaded into a knowledge base. We could just have a plain old regular agent knowledge and then load, load it manually as well. But in this case, we'll use a PDF URL knowledge base that'll take a set of URLs and then put them into a vector DB. We're also going to say that for this knowledge base, use PG vector as a vector database and store the embeddings in the AI recipes table. Now we're going to load the knowledge base. Uh, please comment this out after the first run because the knowledge base will already be loaded. And after we do, and then we'll ask a question of the agent um, and we'll ask questions from that knowledge base. In traditional RAG, what we do is, uh, so let me just comment this out. In traditional RAG, what we do is we set the add context flag as true, meaning it'll search the vector database for this user's query and then insert it into the prompt. Because our agents by default come with agentic rag, it's the one we prefer, set agentic rag as false. Set the search knowledge flag as false because the agents by default have agentic rag. And let's see what's happening. So uh, our over here, our documents are inserted. It's got 14 pages, so I think that's why it's got 14 documents. And then it'll, then it'll uh, answer the question using the information from that knowledge base. Let's restart this, but we'll set the file debug environment variable as true because we want to see what's happening behind the scenes. And then we're going to run traditional rag as true. Take it from the top. We'll see that first is getting five documents from the knowledge base. It's using hybrid search. So it's augmenting vector search with full text search. When you have um, different languages, because the embeddings aren't that great over non-English languages, using full text search with vector search uh, yields much better results. So it's gonna get five documents. The system prompt is the basic one. And then we can see here in the user prompt, this is the message we sent to the agent. And then FIDATA will search the knowledge base and insert the context into it. So we're going to say, use this information if it helps. We want to be careful because not the search result may not yield the best information. So use it only if it's helpful. And then we'll say, uh, we'll be given it the page number, the name of the recipe book. And using this, we can see, well, I know for a fact because I've been testing this out, the question we're asking the Tom, right? that's in the on page five. So it's got the first result is from there. And then using this information, the assistant returns a response. Now, this is this is great uh, for basic use cases, but traditional RAG fails because we're converting an embedding of the user's message. The traditional RAG will fail when you give anything complex. So if I say, I wanna make a three course meal, can you recommend some recipes? I'd like to start with a soup, I'm thinking of a Thai curry and finish with a dessert. This is not something that traditional RAG can do really well. And that's why, like, you know, people start to kind of like, uh, you know, really fall behind. It'll still give decent results. So it's not going to be so bad that it doesn't work at all, but it's not going to be the best, um, the best agent output. In this case, let's use agentic RAG. So uh, we'll, one of the things which you'll notice is this recipe will exist in the knowledge base. 
but I don't think this exists and neither does mango sticky rice. So let me search for this. Uh, so we'll see that this recipe doesn't exist in the knowledge base at all. So that's why we see traditional rag not really working. Now let's go to a Gentech rag. Everything is exactly the same. I'm going to comment out the load knowledge base because it's already loaded. But over here, you can notice that I'm setting search knowledge as true. This is what enables Agentic Rag by giving the agent a tool to search the knowledge base for what it needs, when it needs. Uh, this is set by default, so you can just comment it out as well, but we've just made it explicit over here. And I'm saying show tool calls because it's going to search the knowledge base. And in the interest of time, I'm gonna show you the question that traditional Rag failed at. So this is for the three course meal. Let's run that. And we'll say agentic, agentic rack PG vector. And when it's running, we'll see that it's searching the knowledge base three times because we asked for a three course meal. I said, give me a soup, a Thai curry, and then a dessert. So it's searching the knowledge base for a soup recipe, a Thai curry recipe, and dessert recipe. And you can see as well that this will yield much better search results because it's searching for specifically what it needs. So it's got this soup in there. Hopefully this is going to be in the knowledge base, which we can see it is on this page. Then the main course, this is also in the knowledge base. And then the dessert as well, which is also in the knowledge base. So you can see agentic rag works much, much better uh, for complex cases. And even if you just did this, even if you just loaded your knowledge base and told the agent, listen, search for what you want, you're going to get a much better RAG experience. And we, and one thing which I really recommend is using hybrid search over simple vector search. Now let's go to the playground, open up the fifth file where what we, what we want is we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time, Along with the search knowledge, we're also give it, gonna give it the ability to, um, to read chat history, and then we'll give it a few more instructions, search your knowledge base first, and, and use it if available, share the page number, use tables, share health benefits available. We're gonna comment this piece out, and then we're gonna run this file. Um, so let's run the playground so we can chat with it using the agent UI. So it's gonna run that, I'm gonna click on this, it's gonna take me to the agent UI, uh, where it's gonna to connect to the agent running locally. And we're gonna chat with our RAG agent, which is running completely local. Uh, so this is a fully local experience. The agent sessions are stored in a local PG vector storage. So it's stored in a local table. The knowledge is local. The only thing that is, uh, not local is that our inputs are going to open AI. You can use Olamas for a completely private and local experience. For it to be completely private, do set log sessions as false, which is by default. You can set log sessions as true to see the results in the session. So let's first ask, uh, okay, let's look at a few recipes. So here is where we wanna actually use full text search because if I just use, if I just use vector search, it won't be able to get that information from the knowledge base. The, the embeddings won't match that well. So this is from our knowledge. It gave me the health recipes and it told me Thai recipes page six. So if we go to page six, so again, this is not the page nine, which it knows here. It's the page number six on the actual book here. Then I'm gonna say, uh, okay, um, I'm gonna make a dessert. And then we'll see behind the scenes, we can see all the logs that are happening. Um, okay, so it's actually, when I ask this question, it's not searching the knowledge base because it's just asking, okay, what would you like to make? So let me ask, um, how do I make bad pie? Uh, so over here, what we can do is we can actually force the agent to be like, okay, if, if the user is asking about anything, if, they, if they're asking, they're asking about Thai recipes, always search your knowledge. So if I say, uh, how do I make Pad Thai? Because the agent knows that it's got information about Thai recipes, it's going to search its knowledge base and it's going to give us that in, uh, result back. Uh, so it's saying it's on Thai recipes page four. Now, finally, what I wanna show is this tool, the read chat history. Traditionally, what we recommend is using, um, add history to messages, which will automatically add the last three messages. But I also wanna show 
because right now we're not adding the past few messages. We're just saying read chat history is true. And then I'll say, summarize this conversation. And what it'll do is it'll call the get chat history tool. It's gonna say, okay, so this is the previous one. Let's work through it. Let's, let's find the latest run, which is, it's going to, I said, summarize this conversation. It's gonna be, it's gonna run the tool called to get chat history. And it's going to give the value as null. It's saying, give me the entire chat history, which will then return the full chat history between the user and uh, the assistant and the agent. And then it's going to summarize that for us. So here it is, folks. This was a Gentic rag where we give the agent a knowledge base and then it can query its knowledge base for the information it needs. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, please hop on the Discord and uh, let me know how this goes. Thank you, have a great day.